you know, <laughs> the gnarlier, the better is my love. Gnarly is my love language. Oh, good. Because well, like you keep saying, I bring my sickest self to the podcast. I oh, like, hmm, I bring my sickest self everywhere I, have, I go. <laughs> oh, let's talk, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lay- Hi, Lisa. Hi. Lay it on me. I mean, let's not, we don't even need pleasantries. We're just we here to, right? we're, we're just here. here to bring our sickest. Well, I'll, I'm going to try to put my little sickest self back in the, yeah. back in the crate <laughs> with my dog. But Mine has let's, a very big personality. Yours she is welcome here. Fine. We love you. We love you. Let's talk about it. What do you want to talk about? Oh my gosh. How in the hell do I do this? Ooh, that's a pretty yeah. macro question. What is this? How to do it? Freedom from okay. the obsessions and gosh, that negative person. I don't even know who, I don't even know how many people are going on anymore. Honestly, in my head, I've got enough. I've got enough of you. I've got enough of my therapist. I have enough of you know, the, I have all the pieces. I feel like I have the pieces to the puzzle. I have no freaking clue how to get them to go together. Oh, and, the and I know great. like, let's I try forget. to do that today. Yeah. I, um, I forgot the, the, podcast can we like not undercut to- what a tremendous, like you're just saying like, listen, I have, I have this radio here that I need to listen to. I just need some help putting the parts to, cause like, I, I it's so easy to go right to the negative of what I can't do. And I just, I, I, if you don't mind, I know it's a really terrible thing to do when you're feeling like crap about yourself, but um, I think we have to also focus on how much you have. Yeah. It's a pretty demoralizing cycle. I get it. But if we have any hope of helping you today, I think we have to also just remember how awesome you are. Anybody who comes on this podcast to talk about their struggles is just gangster style to me. Appreciate so <laughs> hold on one I thought I had to sneeze. Mm. Um, so talk to me. So I want to make sure in, in DBT, we say assess, don't assume. So I want to understand exactly what that is and like what problem do you want to, what problem do we want to try to get closer to solution with today? There's such a list. Um, no, that's not totally true. Oh, it's, it's, not it. it's not yes, very true. Challenge the thinking, it's, there's there's challenge something, something that I can't, I can't articulate and I don't, um, and I feel like I just won't let myself get to it. And I don't, I, gosh, and I tried, I tried to journal and tried to figure out what this was and I, it's just so hidden. Um, and maybe it's not that hidden. That's the I mean, goal. Well, oh, I mean, let's do it more behaviorally. I don't think we have to get into like the dark nights of your soul, though I do. Do you love right. a dark night of the soul? I mean, are you just having a hard time breaking up with sugar and you want to? Is I'm that- having a hard time breaking up with sugar, I'm having a hard time even, and it's not, uh, like you said, like, you know, the food is but a symptom, right? It's this idea of a relationship with myself that really just pisses me off, if you want to know the truth. Like, I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't, I don't get it. What's interesting about that, you know, I I don't know that you have to get it, because I think the way I think of it myself even just in my own experience is I didn't, the really creating, creating this relationship with food actually just ended up moving into me learning how to do a relationship with myself. So I think that is such a great thing that you're saying, because it, it is a really kind of esoteric and especially one of the ways to stop hating yourself so much is to stop doing self-hating things to yourself. So I think if I was in the middle of like some self-hating behaviors that I knew were self-hating, you know, you have some experience with success in some other areas of quitting, as you've explained, you know, cigarette smoking, whatever, I think, um, you know, it's easy to move into that well-worn snow groove of, you know, just being a total piece of crap that you can't get this. So I actually wonder first and foremost, this might just be the quickest little podcast of all time. If you're focusing on the wrong thing. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, I think you're making the, and I am, but by the way, uh, queen of complicating simple things over here. Don't right. I mean, namaste, <laughs> namaste on that. But like, can we not be so concerned right now? If you're, if your behaviors with food are not in, in the realm of, of self-loving, can we move away from the relationship with yourself and just move to your relationship with food? Cause usually it's more of a one plus one equals three sort of thing. You, you stop hating yourself when you stop doing self-hating things with food. Right. 
Does that, is that resonating? It is, but there's a really honest, I mean, to be totally honest, like here's, here's my sickest self. She's like, no, I don't want to. Okay. She's, well, so, like, so, here, so how about this? Tired of the idea. I'm so. So then what, what if tired. you just don't, what if you don't? So then don't, you're not adjudicated. You're not, you don't have to go pee in a cup or go back to prison. <laughs> I mean, right? Right. No, 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 no. <laughs> so all I want to say is, um, so like, you know, we, we don't judge people by what they say. We judge people by what they do. So mm -hmm. it's just a mini confusion around, yes, I want to be on the podcast. Yes, I am posting these concerns to my, to, to a group of peers on, on Facebook, but I don't want to do it. Can we untangle that? Yeah, that, that's a big, well, they're, they're equally, it, it is. And they're equal part in oh. me on a daily basis. Gosh, if we can just move 10% over today, I'll be thrilled. Right. Like, but I think what we have to really say is that we're at a 50, 50, we're not a hundred zero. No, we're not. I am not. Okay. That I know. Okay. So that's different than what you said three minutes ago. Okay. So it's not that you don't want to do this. You're just ambivalent. It depends on the minute. But yeah, but but pardon me. You ever see Dumb yeah. and Dumber where he's like, but yeah. there is so there is a chance. But yeah. like <laughs> yeah, there's that. Yes, there is. Cause there are but days. what we're saying there is there days. are moments in which you want this. Yes, I do. Okay. I want freedom. I want okay. Well, I, want, this, I mean I want times, freedom and times are changing by the second here, Lisa. <laughs> So here's I do. the deal. Ultimately, I want freedom because I do have a really big, beautiful life. Okay. And I want to get to living it. And I don't feel like this is my purpose. I honestly don't feel like I was put on my on the earth to like fight with a chocolate cake. Like that's so small and it can't be the purpose. Okay. So I'm wanna I'd love to stop fighting with the chocolate cake. It just takes a lot of strength every day. And mm -hmm. I feel like it might be taking too much work. I'm, I'm hearing that. Gosh, it's like yeah. you're just doing your own therapy over there. Do I even need to I, be on like, the podcast? Today? <laughs> Oh, on top of the whole quitting thing, I've got 18 or like, what am I at? Like three years now of, of um, EMDR therapy with my oh, therapist. Thank uh, you. I love her. EMDR, thank, you God. You know, thank you, God. Can we just also say I'm in ER, EMDR therapy? And this is sometimes what I think I sometimes, and I, I'll think I should be having this big reaction and I won't. And I'll think, is this what it is to have a normal nervous system? I am. If I didn't have so many things going on in my life, I would become an ER, MDM, EMDR therapist like yesterday. It's incredible. It's such a game so, changer for those of us who experience trauma and who have very dysregulated nervous systems. This is what at least this is what we're talking about here. Lisa, come back to something for me. Okay. So this thought that you don't really want this, I don't care. I don't care is your mortal enemy. Mm hmm is that what gets in the way? Is that you just, the chocolate cake is there. You're like this, this story you're telling is like, it's just, it's so enticing. I don't care. I'm putting so much energy towards this. It's so hard. And then chocolate cake comes and you're like, let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. So in this way, these, these thoughts are really the mortal enemies here. They're really, it's interesting. They're really what makes the reservation for you to be able to fall into those old habits and then mm -hmm. back in this well-worn snow groove. So mm -hmm. you have to start to, I think the first thing I want to do is start to pay attention to that because already it, by your own making, I haven't even asked a question by your own making, you kind of told me that isn't true. <laughs> You're like, well, I do want it. It's just, and let me say little scientist hat for a second, Marty Lerner, my mentor, he doesn't say this, but it's one of his things. I mean, it's not, he didn't invent this thought, but feelings fade over time when they're not re-stimulated. So if we're going to chocolate cake every single day, if we have a food addiction, which I imagine you do, right? You yeah, pass I'm the test. I'm pretty comfortable with that. Yeah. 12 out of 12. Flying colors. Yeah. 12 out of 12. Yeah. Namaste, me too. <laughs> so if, really, but like, there is like a, a biological piece of this that I want you to account for, which is if every, if every day, if every three days, you're back in that, the neurobiology of it all. And the end, like, it's just, it is making um, a, a mountain that can feel like a one, per, like we can have, we can have the mountain feel like a 1% incline, or we can have the mountain feel like an 80% incline. Yeah. And so how many, um, like how many, how much time can you string together without turning back? 
About seven days, maybe eight. So what, that's amazing, by the way. And by the way, great data. What happens on day seven or eight? It gets to 80%. That's it. Like it gets hard. I, and I, cause it feels like I take a lot of energy to um, the planning. I do love the idea of only planning three days at a time. Cause like, if you like made me do more than that, then I will just. Gosh, I like only planning like one screaming. day at a time. And I haven't had sugar for 13 years. <laughs> You said three like days to me. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know about that. That's a really long I have time. to take that one, you know, the smallest bite possible of that toad because that's an ugly one for me. Um, I actually wonder, you know? though, can I ask a weird question? Mm -hmm. What if we tried to get you 60, 60s? Like, what if we just lit this thing on fire? I scream inside, like the little. What is she saying? To, like, bring her. What is she? You, like, tell me. Just no, tell me you. exactly. Don't make. Don't don't tell me <laughs> metaphors. Tell me exactly. Be exact about what she's saying when I say that. I can't. Why? I can't. I understand why. That's all I got. I can't. That's but you understand. Like we're yeah. taking the, the no reasoning of a four year old. Yeah. No, it's, it's a four. She's like five. Well, what does she need? I don't know. Take a she minute. <laughs> Take a minute. Take a minute. When she's saying I can't, what do you think the primary feeling of I can't? It fails. Is? It fails. I fail every single time. That's so failure's not a feeling. Can you think of what feeling might be underneath failure? Hmm. Fear. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, there's, I, there's I would agree fear with that. Fear of failure and putting myself out and doing it again. Then I feel stupid. And that's a big one for me. Is also stupid, stupid is not a feeling. So could well, we get to what the primary feeling of stupid? Sure. That's um, a great one. Shameful. Less, I mean, I feel shameful less yeah. than yeah, I don't feel right. as good as other people. And that's yeah. a, that's a big one for me. So if I don't, if I don't show up, then you can't throw me out, you know? <laughs> well, it's dialectic, babe, because there's a part of it where that is true because that's the well-worn snow group. And that's the well-worn snow group of when we have consistent failure that we just try to block. It's we're literally like, I always say this, like when I post about my own fear, it's like my sweet, I use this little words because I really mean it. My sweet little brain is trying to protect me. Mm -hmm. Right. So she's like, I can't, no, please just leave me alone. I just want to be in my room with the cake. But there's this, you know, brilliant woman who's also sitting here being like, I want to. And I think we have to find, A, we need to attend to her. The first thing we want to do is attend to this little five-year-old who's, it's not, she's not saying I can't, she's scared. Mm -hmm. What can we do to help her feel less scared? I wish I knew. <laughs> you do know. I have to say this. You do know. What does she yeah. need? What does she need? She needs backup. I know, right? She needs you. <laughs> she needs some big ass bodyguards. She needs some like, big ass mama love to be like, she does. <laughs> you're going to be okay. It's oh, so, you know, you, you really, you know, this is what I find. This is really, my second book is just all about this, right? I'm writing it right now. It's just really all about what gets in the way of us breaking up with sugar and finding peace is actually not the sugar addiction. It's the perfectionism. That's hard. I've, I've noticed. Let's I have, cancel I'm... that. It's not hard. It's unfamiliar. Okay. 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 That's, that's fair. Cause it's... I just don't want to activate that part of your brain. That's like going to shut down if we're calling it hard. Yeah. That's, that's fair. <laughs> it's I've, new. It is new. And I, I don't know if it was the last podcast or one before I forgot the woman's name. Um, you were talking about perfectionism and that the, and it just kind of hit me like, I'm so that's so new to me. That's so unfamiliar. And it's not even like it used to sound. It's not mean um, or very guilty even, or when, when, when I, you know, when I get to day eight and something happens and um, it feels like it just takes a lot of strength to go, to get back, to start, to keep going, to keep going on that road. Cause I don't want to quit. What, but what are we doing? In, so if we're really talking about primary emotion fear, what is, what do we need when we're scared? What do we need? Safety, right? I mean, mm -hmm. perfect security, answer, right? Safety, security. We need to know we're mm -hmm. taken care of. Mm -hmm. So it sounds, to, I mean, what I'm hearing, I mean, you keep on saying the same thing. You keep on saying it gets so hard. It gets so hard. And, mm -hmm. and I'm like, are we off the bullseye? Because I don't, 
I don't understand how it gets so hard. You're not, I need to know what primary emotion you're having. Are you getting scared? What, cause what do we need to, I can't attend to hard. I can't make it easy. We can help you to feel safe. We can help you to feel loved. We can help you feel supported. We can, you know, go to a food plan. I don't think this has much to do with food, but that's okay. But like, <laughs> instead of saying it, feel, what is the primary feeling? By the way, for those of you listening, nobody loves a feelings wheel like Molly Carmel, period. <laughs> I wish we had one up, but what feeling do you think comes around day eight? Cause I don't think it's this, this is hard. It's not a feeling. There's a primary feeling we're missing here. I don't know if I get afraid. Um, what, do you think you might be, what do you think you might be getting afraid of? A lot. Um, <laughs> Example. <laughs> okay, I know. I know that's not going to do. I know. Hard oh and God, a lot. I'm, I'm going to get very life. far here. He's I'm, oh, I'm having the time <laughs> of my life. Let me tell you something. I wish this Please. could be a five-hour podcast. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> no, I'm having the best I time. like big broad strokes. No. Okay. Uh, but you understand, like, when you say everything, I, I know, your fear I know. is like, you can't, yeah. I get it. I your fear get is it. just like, party, let's go. Some I'm cake. an accountant and I even get that. I'm I not mean, even a therapist. Your job in this world <laughs> would be your homework. Your first homework is to always explain to yourself things in the most granular way possible. Because you yeah. have these big sweeps that scare me a little bit. I'm like, yeah, why don't we just have cupcakes for this podcast <laughs> instead? There, I have seen a fear of success. I have, um, oh man, here it goes. Fear of having to have the courage to do things differently because there might be some things that have to be done differently. Like what? Like, um, and this is, this is where the DNA thing kind of comes in mm. is, um, a lot of my personalities, my identity, not my personality, my identity, I feel is kind of wrapped up in these pieces and struggling with food is one of those pieces. Sure. So it's just the it most, is. you being a woman who struggles with food is just the, it's the part of your nature. It's literally the first memory that is talked about of my father and me is like, oh, look, she has legs just like her mother. Like, so that's so like yes, literally like, but I want us to reframe this because what I'm hearing is like this idea that it's, I mean, it's a big deal to be a part of your identity. That's mm -hmm. a big deal. So what I'm hearing happens is like this idea, like I can't lose this part of my identity comes up. You get paralyzed with fear. A four-year-old is now the dictator of your recovery and then you're just like in the cycle, believing you can't do this. And then worse than that, believing you don't want to do this. I mean, yeah. do we really want to sign this contract is my question. It's probably not a good contract. Well, I don't know. You can sign any contract. Lots of people <laughs> live miserable lives. I actually think no, you want to No, I don't want to. Affirmed. My life okay. is bigger. It's better than this. I'm here. So you're really We're affirming all here for right different, now. better you're than this. affirming right now between you, me, and the 5,000 people that listen to this podcast, okay. which we have to manifest that, by the way. We got to 50,000, so help me manifest that. Oh, wow. One. Yeah, we're yeah. nailing it. So- Thank you. Affirm, affirm. So I think we have to do it really differently. And I think, I think we're really onto something here that when you feel like this, I mean, it makes sense, right? Like familiar is familiar. Brain doesn't care. I have lots of people on this podcast talking about that. Mm -hmm. But what I think we have to really work on, and this might be something you bring to EMDR therapy. It's actually a really good piece of EMDR therapy is that exact feeling, right? Is that we have to really be able to get that exact feeling when you start to get scared of your identity being taken from you, which what we have to say is you also want that part of your identity taken from you or, or shifted, right? Right. I get it. I mean, believe me, I've been cheating at four. Namaste, sister. <laughs> um, I think you have to soften. I think those are the moments, like, like those are the moments where you have to bring yourself to yourself. Can we also just say in the spirit of cognitive behavioral therapy, you don't, your identity isn't lost. You don't just go to the, I mean, it's, it's right. Formally, like you don't go to the garbage and throw it out. It's I, I more gradual that than that. I realize that that's like, well, I think you do. And you don't, sense, but I don't, but I right. honestly feel what like I'm saying, right. Me whole. <laughs> but when I'm talking about like self-parenting, 
And I'm and I think on day on day six, we got or day five even, we have to get your reserves in. We have to get you surrounded by people who love you. You know, we have to get you, maybe that's the day you schedule therapy, right? Like we have to get and you have we have to get you showing up to say, oh, I know it feels so it feels so scary that I might lose my identity in all of this. And also. I'm not losing my identity. I'm just going to go to day six. I'm just going to go to day seven. What do you think of that? Too simple. It might be too simple. I feel like your yes was like not a real yes. Your yes is like my yes. Like, okay, I'm ready to be done with it. It's probably perfectly simple. (laughs) Well, we have to soften. What happens is you get scared and then your lizard brain is here. And I think what we have to really get focused on is, and I actually don't think it's on day seven or day eight. That's too, as I say, often on this podcast, I could be standing in your kitchen on day eight being like, want to talk this out? You'd be like, no, no, I just want to have the chocolate cake, Molly. But on day five, we can start to attend to it. We have this great data that's I can go seven or eight days. That means day five, we have to really be restoring and we have to be like taking care of you and making you feel safe and secure. Yeah. That doesn't sound more, that, that sounds about right. Right. A lot of times we're um, trying to use any time of skill way too late. Mm-hmm. Like, so that's the first thing. And like, I don't know, here's the other thing. I have two questions. It, it may be a little bit hard in the beginning, but we're making it worse. We have to push through this particular piece. I mean, are you willing to do that? Yeah. I, well, cause here's my other thing. I want to, I mean, thank God we're not friends because you can hate me so much. I mean, you're really going to want to just take your hands and strangle me through the zoom. Your lines aren't bright enough. They're not. M I Y isn't bright enough. Yeah. Well, we're getting to your why. Yeah. Your why is bright. Yeah. It's just your, it's actually your why is quite bright. I heard you say it three times. Your why is like, I, there's a better life for me. And this is not the life that I'm supposed to be living. So it actually, your why is perfectly fine. It's just that your light, <laughs> if you're, you need, if you brightened up. So when we are saying bright lines, I'm saying her going to sugar is such an option that it doesn't yeah. matter how big your why, your why doesn't need to be bigger. Your lines need to be brighter. Which means yeah. like, if, if it's not an option, then we, have, then we can start to do the work. It's still an option. That's the problem. That's, I was just rereading where the vows are mm, in the, in book the breaking and, up a sugar book and the breaking up a sugar book. And your, yeah, I, your only vow that. needs to be the, the, the sacred vow. And that's, that is where I'm at. And that is why I will not give up because, because it has to be different and it can be different. But that's why I, I'm I saying, I don't mean to like really trigger all of this for you, except for I do, but like. I think you should try 66 days. Like, I think you should say, I'll see how I feel about this after 66 days. I think you're making decisions, how you feel about this on day six. And let me tell you something, many of us made decisions on how we feel about this at day six, like nothing's changed yet. You know, you're, you're very right. I know. And so I'm really put, you know, I, I'm, I get that it's a huge ask, but I think this idea, like, I actually hear what you're saying, like, you know, not like you're being too forgiving, but I think we're just sort of there's a part, Marsha Linehan talks about this. She created dialectical behavioral therapy, but I feel like you're like almost fragilizing yourself. You're, you're believing that you're fragile because you can't get, you know, and it's like, what if we just pushed this thing forward and said on, on day 67, I'll, I'll call you on the phone. Well, I'll give you like a free session on this. Like we can talk about whether or not this works or doesn't. I don't think we, and you just have to have bright lines and push through until then. What do you think of that? I, I think that's the answer. Me too. Me. And I, I do. Um, You're stronger than you know. I mean, you know well, what I mean? And I hear, and I usually do bulldoze through things and I, it's, I forget some, oh, I'm so bad with words. Um, I mean, can you cancel that? That's so untrue. Well, it isn't, it isn't untrue. Can you just I, I'm not quick with words. Can okay. I can do that? No. So it's okay. I'm just not quick with the right vocabulary. Well, I think you're doing great personally. <laughs> and I just, I'm trying to make your mind and soul a nicer place to live. So you don't have to go eat cake. It's a, little, it's a rough neighborhood. I don't it go sure in. sure is. I'm like, yeah. 
I'm just dancing around trying to make it prettier for you. Jeez. Um, it's almost like I bought into the, you know, the self-care that's not really self-care, like the kind of BS level of it. I don't know. There's say more, but yes, I totally do, but I want you, listen, there's people, listen, this isn't just a conversation we're having people. are So it's explain, (laughs) it's better if you explain it than if I explain it. I feel like there's this soft, squishy BS layer of self-care and it means nothing. And it's just sold to us in some package. That's not, that's not really going to help us. And so I, I feel like the gentleness of it, well, and there is a true balance between, because taking a sledgehammer to myself isn't going to work, but going right. to fufu, like you need to go to the spa every day. That's not going to help me either because life is lifey. It requires work. It requires some disciplines. Like these are just the things well, the that particular you get. Particular level, the particular level of softness that you're using right now, the particular brand of it is saying it's fine. Just have the cake. So yeah, I'm actually asking helpful. you to be soft, right? Cause I'm asking you to say at day five, Hey girl, how you feel? Hey, little sweetie, little sweetie inside. You feeling unsafe? What do you need from me? What do you need from me? I believe in you. I love you. Do you want to go do something? Do you want to just rest today? You're using it on day seven. Like, I just can't do this. You know, I'm not capable of doing this. I can't do this. I'm just going to turn to the cake. So I think what you're saying about you're, you're misusing softness and, and what it's doing is making you believe that you're fragile and you are not fragile. You are a lot of things. Let me just tell you a little fun factoid about Elisa. Elisa is a human being. She lives on the Pacific coast. I teach in Tensati at 8 a.m. Eastern time, Tuesday mornings. You're all welcome. Please come pay what you want. Yeah. Elisa's at it at five in the morning. Ain't no softness. That is, that is somebody who, <laughs> I mean, I am, I'm there at eight being like, this is very early. And then like you and a couple of other Pacific, you know, Pacific people are there. So we need to bring that woman. That's who needs to be running the show. We need to elect her the president of this whole thing. And then we need to be checking in more like day two, day three. What do I need? What do I need? Am I feeling scared? We really got to something here. Attending to fear doesn't mean you eat chocolate cake. Attending to fear means you find ways to help yourself feel safe, loved, included, supported. What's the face about? Oh, you just landed. Oh, tell me more. Oh, it's the day two. Yeah. It's the day two. And, and that's what I'm, and that's where my fear of real change comes. Yeah. When you, when you just said that, it was like, oh, that's, what's going to change it. Because that's where I got afraid. When you said that my chest just kind of tightened and went, Ooh, What's scary? What's scary about change? Just letting the fear of the unknown. I mean, it's I just just like one of my teachers always says this thing. Like he's just always like, maybe fear and excitement are the same feeling. Do do you think you might just could we just also recognize how excited you are for it? I am. I yeah. Wait, can we just? It's just such a well-worn snow groove. I'm scared. I have to give up my identity. Like I wouldn't do this either if that. I think we have to really cultivate how excited you are, how proud you are of yourself, how amazing this is. So I mean, we all need to get back into intense healthy by the way. We do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're so excited. Now. That's Monday. I know. We so, to I can't morning. wait. I know. Yay. It's tomorrow morning. <laughs> See you. Everybody's healthy enough. Right. I haven't done intensity for three weeks because I've had COVID for those listening. Oh. I'm coming back. To, even if I'm sitting in a chair, I'm doing it tomorrow. I'm teaching it tomorrow. There you go. So tell me what the action plan is. The action plan. Okay. First of all, I need you to get a pen. I need you to write this and I need you to put it lots of places. Even if you have it as a reminder on your phone that comes up, I would do it three times a day. You really want this. And you need to, you actually need constant reminders. This whole thing, like, I don't care. It's the greatest lie you're telling yourself right now. You do care. You care most than, more than most. And so I, I think you have to have it around your house coming up on your phone. Like I deserve, I deserve wellness. I deserve healing. I am healing. I am so excited to have recovery with my food. I cannot, I love this new relationship with food. Like all of this stuff that we know works with positive affirmation. Let's get it. Let's get it rolling. And I want you to start to say it to yourself. Ugh. What is the ugh about? Oh, this is where my brain goes. This is soft stuff. It's not going to work. Um, cancel clear. Cancel clear. Well, here's the problem. If you don't think it's going to work, it's not going to work. 
I don't, and I do believe in it more. It's just that initial instinct. So I think you have to override it. I think, I think we actually have, have to like just suffocate look at it, it and say, yeah, you're not. Uh, or you can look at it and say, you know, I guess it's scary, but we can't be putting negative affirmations in our head. Like, I think you can be yeah. really gentle with it. Yeah. You know? Just an instinct. It's not even it's one. Yes. <gasps> I love it. It's just an instinct. It's not the truth. Mm. Oh my God. Tattoo that on my eyeballs. Oh. Okay. And then what are we doing? And then we're making, and then are you affirming to me and all the people listening that you're going to be doing 60, 60? Okay. But I go to Disney world on Friday here. There's the truth. Yeah. But I, I mean, I've gone to Disney world. Okay. My friend, Will Bolslowitz, the fiber, the gut health MD, he's a yeah. vegan and he's done Disney world. Yeah. There's never okay. a good time to start, Lisa. I know, I know. There's never enough money to have a baby. There's never enough. Like, time but to also, do like, anything, right? And by the way, like at day sixty-seven, <laughs> like if you want to order, what do you want? A churro? Like what's so? I mean, I've eaten. The, like what's so great at Disney World? No, it's the cupcake. So, okay, so I, have oh, a cupcake I don't know. I haven't, I haven't had one at Disney World. At Disneyland, they're amazing. They have like this ice. It's okay. I probably shouldn't be doing this on the podcast. <laughs> Sorry, it's great. <laughs> You're saying I like, don't need to trip that. I'm if like, not hey, now, when? Beer, right? Great. If not now, when? <laughs> What a beautiful right. statement no of commitment to yourself to say, yeah, I'm doing day one Monday and day five, I'm going to be in Disney world. Yeah. And I'm going to nail it. You see what I mean? We just need this conversation. Yeah. I'm here for it. How are you going to yeah. stay connected? Facebook group? Uh, Facebook. And I do have a power circle. Okay. So yeah, you're going to, can that. you text them right now and tell I them that you're doing 66 days while we're on the phone? Oh, I could do that. Do it right now. Cause this is okay. my favorite. If you're ever like in coaching with me individually, this is my favorite thing to do. You know why? Okay. Cause grace is only a certain amount of time. And if we okay. don't rock, say I'm on Molly's podcast right okay. now. And we've decided I'm doing 66 days uninterrupted of the, all the vows in the breaking up with sugar book. Well, maybe not weighing and measuring Sharon Disney world, but just the no sugar, no, no I'm flour. Not gonna do that, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. You no sugar, no flour. No sugar, no flour. I'm here for that. Um, I can measure at home. I can Great. do it. You do. There's you. another, that one's just, that one's just a reel that we need to push back. I'm here for that. <laughs> that I know. Uh, what am I saying? I'm on Molly's podcast right now. I'm committing. To 66 days. To 66 days. There, send, send. Yes. <laughs> Done. Okay. If you want to understand where she, she's going to be in the Facebook group, if anybody wants to see this, I'm psyched for this. I'm psyched for, I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Isn't it amazing what we can do in 35 minutes? It is. Well, because it, it needs to not be my head. You know what also? My like, head needs to be far. we also just like, I don't know. I've been doing this a long time. And how dare you say that you don't want to? It's such a dirty lie. It is, but it's I want you to, And when I don't want to comes up, can you just correct yourself and say, I'm scared? And then like, what do I need? Right. I generally need people. Me too. I just, I, I swear. I need people. Thank God there's no longer like phone bills. If there, oh, remember yeah. like when there were phone bills? For those <laughs> of you, you, how for those of you like Gen Z listening, <laughs> you would get phone bills. Like if you're on the phone an hour, it would cost oh. this much. There weren't like, un, and like, can you imagine? Oh. oh. Could, that would have been horrible the last I mean, few I'd have to like take out another mortgage. All right. So listen, I love you. You're amazing. Love you. Thank you I'm going to so stalk you a little bit, but I see you on Tuesday morning. So that's good too. Yeah. See you in the morning. But I want to tell you something. Borrow this. I believe in you with all my heart and soul. Thanks. I believe in you with all my heart and soul. I really Thanks. believe in you. I love you. Thank you for doing all this. Thanks for the book. You finally made it make sense. What a treat. Like, Wait you, could, see I, like you could translate. Wait till you see I, the second one. That's really going to get you. Then you're I'm really excited. happy. Hate me, Sasha. Yay! Yay. <laughs> that little five year old just wants to strangle you. Exactly. Have fun at Disney World. I love you. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.